I feel intimidated all the time that I'm as old as I am. You know, like I thought about turning the infamous 30 and, you know, it sounds old, you know, like 30. It's like, oh my God, you gotta have your shit together. Yeah, I remember exactly where I was when I was 30. I was in South Africa and my birthday happened. I didn't tell anybody. My name's Jamie Emerson. My name is Joe Kinder. My name's Keith Lidzinski. I'm 32 years old and I've been climbing for 12 years. And this is what I do. Okay, you ready? Yeah. I thought this was supposed to be like Conan O'Brien. This isn't Conan O'Brien. It's, no, it's close. Steph? We got the red? Come on. This, is this isn't. I would have gotten like a cucumber melon facial that's if I knew I was going to be on television. It's that's all, a thing, right? It's all based. That's what she does. Though. Okay. okay. <laughs> I never really set out to be a professional photographer. It, it, I kind of just stumbled upon it. It just seems like everything is just a series of incidentals. And for me, I bought a camera about 15 years ago and... Uh, it's more or less inspired by a friend, and I went out, I bought a camera at a pawn shop, like a really cheap Pentax K1000 camera. I started shooting a lot of landscapes, a lot of scenic photography, a lot of skateboarding photography. And then eventually, I met a kid named Andy Rather, and I, I just gave rock climbing a try. Yeah. Come on, Keith. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I kept my head too. Oh, man. <laughs> Things took yeah. off pretty quick. I met key people right away. I met through Andy. I met Chuck, and through and through Chuck and Andy, I met Daniel, and through and through those guys, it just it just sort of sprayed off into a bunch of people, and everyone was generally approachable. Everything I was everybody I was shooting with initially, they they were hungry for media in a way, and so it wasn't like I went straight to the top. I went with the people were talented. I'd say the first 12 months proved to be pretty stressful. There's a lot of sleepless nights, waking up with anxiety, sort of staring up at the ceiling, realizing that you just walked away from essentially what you were always taught was security. That's when I realized how much work I was actually looking at. Speaking of, where's those Simba snacks? Keith just got clawed at. <laughs> <laughs> the internet's gone and I don't know what to do. Lose it off and check email. I'm like a lost soul. Can't have to type my website. What are the fans gonna say? Actually, uh, the fans are fans? here, so. <laughs> All the fans are here, so like, guys, what are you gonna say? But the holds are greasy. I don't care if the holds are greasy. When I'm ready, you go. These lights are ready, okay? I had to come down off my perch. Now get on it. Fine. <laughs> it's the only way you get anything done with these guys. To athletes, they sleep in all day. I've always approached it as something I'm documenting. It's, it hasn't really seemed any different than if I were to be thrown into an arena to shoot basketball for the evening in a sense, except that you end up with a lot more personal friendships. Probably half of the allure of going out and shooting climbing is the experiences you get with your friends. Keith, what are you doing? Well, I'm almost out of memory, so I'm deleting bad images, which is everything I shot of Andy today. <laughs> Don't delete anything you shot of me, I'll kill you. I'm kidding. People you're with are typically people that like the outdoors. I certainly do. I grew up in Colorado, so being outside is, is it's just a great thing. Um, I like the access you get. I like the places you have to go. I like when you have to hike in really far and there's no one else there. And typically the company you're with is just as enthusiastic, if not more, about what you're doing. And so to me, the experience is everything. The, the pictures I walk away with, I certainly love them and I'm very happy that I've gotten to take them. But they're really just a small memento from what was an otherwise a much, much better day.